What is up Carnage Clan, it is Carnage Reef coming back at you guys with a solo 2 minute and 50 second DNA bomb, this time on the map Instinct, and props to Buffalo for dropping another insane DNA bomb solo on a really bad map, I think. I think Instinct, it's an okay map if you're playing Domination, you're spawn trapping them in the cave, but other than that, playing solo, it's really hard to control this map, and I don't like this map at all, but anyways, go check out Carnage Buffalo in the link below, this is an absolutely insane gameplay, and once again, if you guys do enjoy this commentary, you can come check out my channel as well. Carnage Buffalo is a really awesome player. He's been a really good player for a long time, so I highly recommend you guys go check him out. And let's get right into the commentary. So, Instinct, like I said, probably my least favorite map in Advanced Warfare besides, like, Ascend or something like that. A lot of the maps are really good, though. That's one of the things I really liked about Advanced Warfare, and I mentioned in my last commentary, as well, is that the maps are really good for Ground War, and I just feel like the maps play so much better in Ground War. But what I thought I'd talk about really quickly here is when will people stop using the BAL? So... I, pretty much every single insane game player you're going to see is with the bow, and that's a given. It's a really good gun. But when are you going to stop seeing the bow in every single gameplay? So, I'm someone who's a commentator and a player. I go for gameplays myself. I know what the struggle is to actually get gameplays. And I know that the bow is the best option, but when will it stop being the best option? For now, I think the bow is going to be pretty much what you see in every single gameplay until people get a lot more comfortable with the game. One of the things that was really prevalent in Ghost was the Honey Badger. No one ever gave up on using the Honey Badger, and I think that's just because of how Ghost played. It was pretty much the best gun in the game. There was no adjustments to the guns at all, really, and none of the other guns really got too much better. Then you started seeing the MTAR and Vector once those got uh, buffed a little bit. So I'm hoping they actually take the same route for Advanced Warfare. They end up making the submachine guns a lot better. That is probably one of my biggest gripes in the game so far is that the BAL-27, there's pretty much no reason to not use the BAL-27. It's just, you use the BAL, the ball is life, it's the absolute best gun in the game, it's the best SMG, it's the best shotgun, it's the best everything, and it's an assault rifle. So, I'm hoping that they actually buff the SMGs a bit. I think the KF-5 as it is, is actually a pretty good gun, so I would recommend using that gun a lot. Uh, other than that, the BAL-27, I mean, it's really good close range, it's really good long range, it pretty much has everything you want in a, a regular assault rifle. It actually reminds me a lot of the Honey Badger in a way, so I'm hoping, I'm not sure what they should actually do at this point. Should they nerf the bow and make the SMGs better, make everything better really, or should they just nerf the bow? I've, I'm starting to think that just nerfing the bow would make everything else seem better in comparison because the bow, like I said, is just so good from every single range and we'll have to see how it plays out. I'm really liking Sledgehammer's support of the game so far. They've really been trying to take their time and actually get patch updates out there and helping us out instead of like the olden days when, you know, getting a patch update every week was kind of a weird thing. So, you know, hopefully Sledgehammer, you know, sees that everyone's using the bell, sees that it's a really good gun, really overpowered one, and they end up doing something to it. I really think they just need to make the SMGs better and make them better from close range. It'll actually have an advantage then. So, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this commentary. Once again, go check out Carnage Buffalo in the link below. You can also come check out my videos and my channel as I did the commentary for today's video. Hopefully you enjoy. Peace out.